What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and today, I'm going to talk about today's basketball game. You had the number 22-ranked LSU Tigers beating the Ole Miss Rebels 73-63 to improve to 8-0 in the SEC, yo. Um, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Um, come give me a follow on the gram, send me a request on the book. Um, come holler at your boy, yo. <laughs> uh, this team been getting better, man, as far as when they get out to such a huge, huge first half lead. You know, um, they ain't let the teams come all the way back, you know, and put the game in doubt. Um, Wednesday against Alabama, they jumped out to a huge lead, um, and they ended up closing it out. Alabama made it interesting early in the second half, but they ended up closing it out, getting a 14-point win. And today, you know, in the first half, being up by as much as I think like 21 or 22 points, um, and in the second half, it got down, I think, like seven points, I want to say. But, you know, they done their, they done their job, man, and... um. Put it away. Ended up winning by 10, you know, got outscored by 10 in the second half. But nevertheless, you know, they never gave up the lead or they never, um, you know, had it within a one possession game, you know, especially late in the game, you know. Um, so they're getting better at that, you know, as far as this week, man, because <laughs> like, you know, one thing about this basketball team, um, whenever they, they jump out to such a huge lead, they would seem to um, give it away. Um, you know, a guy that we don't really talk about a lot, man, that had a very, very good game today was Marlon Taylor, yo. Um, obviously, we know how much of a just extreme freakish athlete that he is. Um, his vertical is through the roof. Um, <clears throat> you could pretty much throw him an alley in the rafters. <laughs> you could go up there and get it. Um, but, you know, to, uh, very, he's a very, very underrated defender, man. Um, and this is a guy who started you know, pretty much for this team last season, um, you know, winning the SEC regular season, getting to the Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament. Um, came out, started this year being injured, missed the first nine games of the season. But, um, you know, he's back in the rotation now. He isn't starting, but he's back in the rotation. Uh, he played well today, man. Had a double-double, 13 points, 11 rebounds. Um, played very, very good defensively, you know, um, which is something we need, you know, going up against these perimeter guys, not only in the, in the, uh, in the SEC, but, you know, in college um, basketball in general. So, um, you know, a guy with that type of wingspan, that type of quickness, that type of athleticism, you know, um, he could be, he hit a couple of threes today. You know, that's very, very big for this team. You know, um, if he's out there, you know, um, contributing offensively, um, besides just basically catching alley oops and dunks and stuff. So, um, big time performance for him, man, a senior, man. Um, you know, it got to mess with your pride a little bit, you know, knowing you were starting all the last year pretty much. Um, at, well, at least in SEC play. And then, you know, coming in into your senior year, you got to come off the bench. But um, he's had a workman's attitude about it. He's going out there, like I said, defending, um, hitting a couple of threes, and um, just really being a positive influence on his team. Um, Javante Smart played well again. Skylar Mays was in a little bit of foul trouble, but, you know, he was doing his thing out there. Emmett Williams did pretty good in the first half. Um, it looked like Emmett Williams and Skylar Mays had a little bit of a shout match, you know, um, on the sideline late in the game, but <laughs> whatever. You know, that's they, they, they men. It happens, <laughs> you know. Um, Darius Days, you know, with his energy out there and ability to shoot. Marshall Graves got out there and hit a couple of uh, – hit a three today, you know. Um, so, good win, man. Good win at home, man. Um, obviously, we knew this is a game we should have won. Um, Ole Miss is not having a great season. Um, but I like the fact that that guy, Tyree, who uh, – pretty interesting found out he's David Tyree's cousin. You know, that's pretty interesting. Um, but, you know, that guy last time, like, torched us for 36 points – you know, just what, two weeks ago, and uh, I don't know exactly how much he finished with today, but it was nowhere near 36, <laughs> I can tell you that much. Um, and he had zero, you know, for a good bit of that first half. So um, he did a really good job defensively, did a really good job coaching, um, and got the W, man. 8-0, um, you know, pretty good, man. Um, 
God, I think we play Vanderbilt next, which obviously that should, you would think that's a winnable game. But got some big ones coming up down the stretch, man. Um, we're going to have to go to Auburn. Kentucky going to be home. Um, you know, if Auburn could knock off Kentucky today, we'll be have a full two-game lead, you know, in the SEC, man, uh, as we try to win a, a hopefully a back-to-back -back SEC regular season championship. Um, but good solid win today, man, against the team we were supposed to get the W against. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy and give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have LSU basketball content and NCAA content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. Answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Um, come join me. It'll be some good stuff. I'll tell them, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.